cities, sustainability is what do they have to do with each other? Well, a lot. Uh, climate change is happening, it's a fact, and we really need to rethink our cities because about 70% of CO2 emission is it comes from cities. So we need to rethink the way we live, the, the way we work, the way we love each other. So it's very important to talk about it, but not only talk about it. I think only talking doesn't uh, add up to something. We need to do stuff too, and that's that's great in a conference like this and why we need them to, to mingle with each other but also find ways to act upon the serious issue of uh, sustainable building sustainable urban cities which don't will not only add up to the quality of life but also add up to future generations because I want my next generation of my future grandchildren if I might get them uh, to be uh, proud of me and not angry at me because of the stupid things we are doing. So we really need to change things. Um, so I think this is a great opportunity in bringing together Dutch sustainability expertise, creativity and holistic planning with the energy, inventiveness and ingenuity of Detroit. And we hope that this uh, sustainable uh, urban design dialogue will continue in the future. You know, I understand and appreciate the need for collaboration. Uh, I think that, Olga, I would love to hear more about how you're seeing design collaborate uh, with other disciplines to really make a change in sustainability and how we address resiliency. And, you know, just the overarching need for how design touches so many different parts of our lives here. I mean, I would have to say this is my first sustainability summit that I've ever been to. Um, and being able to talk on the panel about my craft, why I love working with sustainable materials was actually really, um, it was really thrilling just to share my story and the reason why I choose to work with reclaimed materials. Um, hearing all the other speakers really opened my eyes um, as to what the industry is doing and what other countries are doing when it comes to sustainability. We really are a convener, a connector, and, and really a, a balanced voice within the broader community, or at least that you know that's what we strive to do. And so, you know, it's interesting that question because honestly, our job got easier to, during COVID, which is a crazy to think about and crazy to say. But the reality is the importance of public spaces, the importance of the ability to create resilient, sustainable communities that embrace all aspects of our population and our environment uh, became that much more important to the leadership, to the everyday individual, and ultimately to the Detroiter. Of course, focus is on greening the grid, um, critical component of the work that we need to do going forward. Um, weatherization and the built environment um, also, a key factor being mobility. Um, as we know, uh, transportation surpassed uh, power generation as the biggest source of uh, climate uh, greenhouse gas uh, emissions a couple of years ago here in the U.S. overall. So mobility is a really critical component of how we transition. It goes back to talking to the people and seeing what they want and seeing uh, what they're interested in. What is worth preserving in Detroit? Um, and what are the parts that people would like to improve? And listening to the people about what those pieces are and not making assumptions about what should be changed, how it should be changed, where it should be changed, and for whom it should be changed. Uh, some fantastic discussions going on. You know, these kind of conversations are very important as we move from, you know, business as usual and into a kind of a, a ad adapting to the future. We gotta exercise our imaginations, and I think that the best solutions are gonna be interdisciplinary. So I know that for me personally, I've been really bored with the community development conversation. So I've been hanging out with artists. There were no bounds to like the ideas that were generated. Cause you know, artists respond to a muse, but like when you're working in community development, you're responding to a, a director, board, your funder, there's, so confined. Um, so I think that like start hanging out with artists, mm -hmm. let your mind <laughs> flow. Um, but yeah, I feel like imagination is the most important thing in this moment. We're not gonna like revolution start with ideas. And if we just focus on what institutions can do, they're not gonna give us anything new. We know the what, we know what are the goals, we know what are the designs we need to do, we know what are the technologies we need to tap on. Um, but I think the how to get there is a really um, 
needs to be a really well orchestrated uh, movement. It's the it's meeting each other, it's bumping into each other, it's the sort of maybe at a more conceptual level, it's the sort of you know intersection of ideas. Um, we think a lot about in the planning of public spaces how to you know sort of curate an experience where you don't just go from point A to point B, you stop, you linger, uh, and I think in that lingering start to you know create more opportunities for cross-pollination of innovation or cross-pollination of ideas or the intersection of you know different types of people right the, the public realm is where it's a very democratic space you know we in the us we don't really think about happiness much i think or talk about it maybe we do think about it but we don't talk about it i think we should talk about it what makes people happy why would they move to downtown we're really big believers in figuring out how can we take architecture and design to help all of us think through um, strategically better alternatives for a more exciting more equitable and more sustainable city for us to to live in